everyone. So I am organizing. Um, but I want to show you guys this little hanger I got. I think you could hang it like this if you want. Or more like loose like this. And I think that, uh, I tried it this way for all the uh, pants and skirts. Mostly Tong's pants because he has a lot of pants. I want to ideally hang all my clothes i hate folding i don't like how it creases creases so i actually bought this uh like a coat not coat hanger like a just clothes hanger that one's still not coming in a few days but i thought i would get a head start and organize all pants i have another one i can make it but um that's what i'm doing right now i am also making candles because i don't know why in the summer this place doesn't smell the best i think the flooring is pretty old so i wanted to just get more candles, make more candles, and by the way, the fall is coming, and fall is candle season, so... I'm gonna do all the long pants here, or maybe like if I do it from the bottom. very clean and eventually these are gonna go on the different hanger that I bought um, so it's very um, packed in here but the pants look really good I think it'll look really clean if I clean all these out and put more pants here that's how I want it to look like this is completely random but did you guys know that coffee like leftover coffee grinds from like your Keurig or your espresso they're supposed to be very very useful to um, uh, absorb the oil like for example i had some leftover oil and i'm about to clean this frying pan look at this so i want to just see wow this is actually pretty amazing <laughs> that's a life hack that i heard, um saw from one of the youtube channel but that works so as Aiden is getting older. He's been staying up a little longer between each feeding. He is getting more aware of his hands, the things that he sees, his surroundings, and his feet and everything. And I just want to give it a quick shout out to Love Every for sending me another play kit. This one is the Charmer kit. It is for three to four months babies. This kit is designed for the babies to explore with their eyes, their mouth, and their hands, which is perfect for Aiden right now because literally Aiden cannot keep his fingers out of his mouth. I think uh, whenever I try to hand him something, he tries to put it in his mouth. Uh, so he's definitely at this stage and this kit is perfect for him. Another thing that I really love about this play kit is that it comes with a playbook uh, that shows you how to introduce the toys and um, what stage the baby is going through. So everything is in this book. It's pretty thick. It's so helpful. It makes so much sense. And since I have a better understanding through this book for why this toy is introduced and why uh, the baby might be interested is really making sense and it's, it makes it more um, instead of just handing him a toy like I know exactly what to expect and um, or I see like the science behind it that, to be honest um, even though this is designed for three to four months I know that it'll go a longer way it's not like after like four months he's gonna stay, stop playing with these toys it's gonna he's gonna constantly look for these toys some of them might end up being his favorite so and I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys know this brand already but if you guys are interested make sure to check out through the link down below in my description box <laughs> Aiden's like staring at me he's like what are you talking about <laughs>
So it didn't come like this. I did put it together, but it was very, very easy to put it together. Let's see some little scratches. I think this is a uh, like paint or no, it's actual scratch. But um, it's pretty sturdy, and pretty even. Uh, it was very, very easy to set up. It doesn't look like the most ideal place, but right now this is the only place that I could put. Um, and I do have a little bit of access to the curtains, so I think it will work out pretty well here. I'm very excited right now because I am ready to clean all this stuff out a lot more. I wanted to kind of organize like this entire area because uh, like little we have this little thing just hanging out, and I'm just kind of like sick of it. Okay, so I finished. Oh my God, I hate this floor it's so creaky. Good thing nobody lives below us, but uh, I finished organizing. Um, I couldn't really organize everything uh, just because I felt like I would have to buy more stuff to like uh, put things away or organize things, and that's the last thing I want to do. Um, if there is a way for me to like repurpose things and kind of clean it up, then I will later, but right now I'm pretty content with this right now. So, my clothes. Uh, I put all the shirts by color. Just uh, I mainly wanted to put dark and light here, just because it was clean. Um, I'm not using this bar. I don't even think I should have got this double bar thing, cause um, you can't really hang both sides. Like you can't fully hang on both both uh, bars. So seems like there's no point but it i feel like in a way this kind of makes it look neat kind of like it encloses it a little bit but i hung all the like the purses and bags that i use uh, on the side this is what the closet looks like now there's all the tones pants a little bit of my skirt that i don't even wear uh put all the colors here um just make sure they're, like most of the like, sweaters my like Bottoms, my tops, and tongs like casual shorts or bottom, and some towel. Um, I do hang like um, like a sensor light there, but I'm charging it right now because I have not charged it for the longest time. But uh, that's very very useful. And then I did organize my desk. Um, okay, the bottom doesn't really look that different, but the top I organized. So the books were in the middle compartment middle section but i moved it all the way up and i um because i was laying them down in the middle i organized it by color similar colors because i saw it on this uh, channel of uh, this woman uh she's like all about organizing and she said she used to um stack them by height which i used to do but she said she likes she thinks it looks a little bit more organized if you do it by color and i agree with her i personally like this better i like the look of it better so that's that my um pens that are barely used or rarely used barely used um and then this is the tanjiro and gozo gozo if you guys watch anime it's those are tools. He got it as a gift, but it's in a box still. And it does. My internet is not working. And this area right here is not organized because just so much shit there. And, I, you know, just it's, it's there. And other books that I just... Well, this one I open it a lot. But uh, other junk kind of books are down here. I think it looks pretty clean right now. I if we could maintain it like this, I will be very happy. I I know some of you guys might be like, you got you're blocking the lights, it looks so claustrophobic. Surprisingly or weirdly, it kinda of like I'm very comfortable in this space right now because I accepted that this is going to be a closet and we're like it's going to ha um contain a lot of junk. Uh, so to me it looks Organize, um, but I know that to some people it looks really claustrophobic, but I personally like it Um, I do wish that these were in like like Identical boxes, but like I said, I don't really want to buy more stuff to organize stuff. So uh, Later if I have better ideas, I'll organize it. But right now, this is how it looks And the clothes are kind of touching the Maybe I'll pull it up a little bit Okay, so I wanted to just kind of end the night with some more tv or movie um i usually work out at this time but i'm going to change it to mornings so i'm just like i'm gonna relax with some tv show or movie or whatever but um 
our internet is a whack. It's like so um, unstable right now. So um, it's not, yeah, so it's very frustrating. So instead, I'm going to just make some soup for tomorrow morning. All I'm gonna do is make some kimchi stew. I think I make, oh my gosh, oh, my mom gave me the, the fermented kimchi, so it's going to taste very well. Uh, for the meat, I'm going to use just spam. Okay, so this is the kimchi that my mom gave me. It doesn't look that, like, that sour, but that's what she said, so we'll see. Okay, so I cut up some kimchi and this Okay, it's a little sour. Okay. Because it smelled very fresh to me for some reason, but... Mmm, it's pretty good. Oh, this is so good. Oh my god, I want some ramen right now. Tofu soup more than a kimchi stew. So much tofu. So I used the entire tofu for this morning. Like I, I pan fried it. We killed it. Cause like I made all that thinking that oh I'll probably save it for later. But no, we killed it. Crazy. Okay, I'm gonna just do a little bit of pepper flakes. And all I have to do now is just wait. And that's really it. Good morning, everyone. Hi. So today I didn't really have plans, but um, um, my friend is going to shut aquarium. Um, apparently it's a free day. And since I don't live too far from it, I decided to join them. So I got all of Aiden's stuff ready. Uh, I'm just putting light makeup on. And I should be heading out in like an hour or so. Uh, so I'm going to try to kind of clean up a little bit more, walk ame, and maybe I'll eat something quick so I'm not hungry while I'm taking care of Aiden throughout the trip. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of excited because he's been really good with his neck like he could hold it up himself so whenever i hold on to him he'll just kind of like wander around so i'm assuming that he will look at the fishes so i mean that's all i care about i don't want him to go and like just sleep i'm trying to get him to take a long nap right now so um when we get there he's wide awake look at the fishes i've been there like a lot of times so i don't, I don't need to go but obviously it's for aiden so I did call Tong before I decided to go because like I know he wanted to really take him there and if he was like a little like sad I wasn't gonna take him like I wanted to save it for a family trip but he says he wanted to wait a little longer anyways when Aiden's like a little bit more active a little bit more aware of his surroundings I think he's ready but he, he said I could go so I'll just go <laughs> So I'm pretty excited for that. It is a little chilly outside today. Uh, so I was able to kind of like dress him up a little bit cuter. Uh, like with a hat and stuff. So I just have to find my clothes. <laughs> I don't even think I have any winter clothes here. Because all I, like everything I wore last year was like uh, maternity clothes during winter. So um, yeah, let's get ready. So I've never braided my hair beyond like this point or like i was able to like tie it make a bun out of it but wow my hair must be very long because i was able to braid up to my chest and it feels pretty stable i'm just afraid that when i'm driving it's gonna get all messy and like all that i mean if that's the case i'm just gonna end up just tying my hair up 
um but yeah for now i think this will work i'm just gonna wear something casual um i should really order some clothes because um you know after pregnancy like i feel like nothing really fits and i'm not trying to like lose all this like in a month or two so uh, it's going to be a long slow journey and i think i should be buying clothes uh, so i have stuff to wear during this fall and winter um one thing i noticed about how my body changed obviously the stretch marks and like i feel like my boobs are like saggy like deflated balloon besides that whenever i overeat my stomach used to just make that d line but now it's like a B, it makes a little like like a little bump bump as if like i'm like pregnant again so um, i'm assuming because i'm stretched out and i probably have to really work on my like ab workouts and all that so when i saw that i was just like oh my god i hate my body but you know staying trying to stay positive so <laughs> hopefully going to shadow korean will like make me like not think about any of that but i do like my hair so i'm very happy with that so um, I just have to buy bigger clothes. That's it. everyone so well i came back a while ago but i had to put aiden to bed uh, i came home like right before uh, aiden's bedtime i barely made it i really didn't want to miss it by a lot because i don't i thought that if he didn't get his sleep on time he'll be cranky and fussy that he wouldn't go back to sleep so i really tried to um keep it very close to his actual bedtime which i did so I'm, i wanted to hang out longer of course it was really fun um tong joined us a little later but, um but you know like we ended the night early like every parent who has a child a, a very young child i guess so i came home i put aiden to bed um well, um, Ame is on the couch because he's a little upset that I was gone too long. But, um, thankfully tonight it's pretty chill in Chicago. So, um, I left the window open. So, I think he actually likes that. My hair did wonderfully. It stayed in, it stayed in, like, one piece. Um, until now I'm just gonna untie it because I really want to just tie my hair up. And I do have to take a shower. Anyways, yeah, the aquarium aquarium was very hot, sweaty, humid, and smelly, so um, I do want to take a shower. I really wish I could have bathed at Aiden, but um, I wiped him down a little bit, not very much. Um, so I should wash him tomorrow, maybe before we head out, because tomorrow I do have to go to my parents. Um, well, I don't have to, I guess, but I'm planning on it because the day after... She's gonna watch Aiden overnight because Tong and I are somewhat what somewhat celebrating our tenth year together. Uh, not marriage, just um, overall relationship. Um, so my mom is going to watch Aiden overnight because we are going to play golf with our friends. Um, and then uh, Tong took extra two days off, so we're gonna just kind of nothing too crazy. We haven't really planned out anything too crazy, but um, just to kind of be together. 
And that's all, all that's all I could ask for right now. So that's the plan. So I'm going a day early so we could just settle a little bit and 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 all that. Since I've been gone out there I do have a little bit of uh stuff to do around the house and I'm going to shower and I'm gonna go to bed. So last night we started this new routine where um so I'm it no Aiden's been waking up about three times a night. Uh, first, so when he goes to bed, he's been sleeping five hours, and then after that, he wakes up two more times in like a shorter period. I don't know why he does that. Uh, maybe he needs to drink more. No, but I don't, well, anyways, until like four in the morning, Tong took care of Aiden, like feeding, changing diaper, and like bringing back to sleep. Tong did that, and then when he wakes up at four o'clock, which is like kind of weird because he wakes up at six anyways. Um, so when he wakes up for the 4 a.m., I take care of the rest. So I, and yesterday I actually um, took Aiden to his nursery, his bedroom, and I put him in the crib, and he slept really well. So I'm gonna try try that again, and I will sleep on the the, the rocking chair, which is I find it pretty comfortable. Tong doesn't like it, but it really works for me. So last night worked. Uh, so hopefully tonight is um, just as smooth fingers crossed definitely going with the child was uh, a new experience because it's more most it's majority it's all about them it's not about me i've seen this stuff before right so it was about like aiden like catching all these like is he looking at the fish like or like what does he seem more interested than the other he really liked the bubbles <laughs> you know those like air bubbles in the tanks he really liked those um so yeah that was fun Good morning. Hi everyone. So, oh, it's my free day. It's party day. I feel like I'm on vacay right now. I am about to go to a driving range, uh, meet a few of my friends, I meet some few people. I'm meeting Tong there as well. Uh, like I said before. So, bye, Amma. So, Tong uh, slept at our, uh, our home last night and I was at my parents'. Uh, because we were gonna just meet at the golf center. Uh, anyways, I don't even know what I'm saying. So I am very, very excited. Today is a beautiful day. I was a little worried because yesterday was kind of chilly and it was raining. So I'm just like, oh my God, I hope it's not raining today. I cannot not change, reschedule this. Like there's just no way, you know? But today looks beautiful. It's actually really, really nice. Like I don't, it's not too hot, it's not too cold. It's sunny, partially cloudy, so. I'm very excited. I am going to meet Tong right now. Um, Aiden, I think like my Aiden, Aiden was falling asleep as soon as I was ready to leave. So um, I'm gonna just see where Tong is. Yo. Hey, I just got out of the Where are you? I'm coming to you. Oh, you are? Yeah. Why? You told me to. I said you should have came like the first thing. Oh, no, I'm here. You're my parents? Yeah. Okay, let me turn around. Okay. Oh, I know. Yeah, Aiden's Ah, damn it. I want to see him. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna see him. Okay. Uh, bye. Uh, so, Dong is coming to my place, our parents' place. Oh my gosh, it's just. Uh, my makeup does look really thick. Um, but eh, it's okay. I'm pretty sure by the end of the day, it's gonna be gone anyways. So, um, yeah, my mom braided my hair this morning. <laughs> so, I like it. I actually, my mom was like, you look like you don't have a kid. I'm like, thanks. <laughs> I'm here. It's a Saturday, so it's really busy. Uh -oh. Just a lot of people. Oh, I have not been here since like one plus year. Yeah, you saw? I don't know. Okay, so we just finished our warm up. It felt more like a full workout than a warm up. Um, but we're heading to the golf course. Keep Ready please. to play. So tired already. They just started. I really like, I want to keep drinking coffee every three hours <laughs> to make the most out of this day. 
I, I cannot do. believe we're going home where none of our babies are there. That has been a... So long. Too long. long. Yeah. Cause, I mean, we always had Ahmed, but... Oh, yeah, so I feel empty. I guess we get to taste a little bit of when um, Aiden goes to college. <laughs> mm. Okay, I got two. Last yesterday, Tony and I came home earlier than I expected because not not a lot of a lot of people went out with us with us, with us after golf. So, um, so it wasn't like too many people, but it was a good small group. So it was really fun. We went to like a Korean pub and then we went to karaoke, and then we came back and we passed out. Like I was planning on like just kind of hanging out more with Tony and talk all night kind of thing, but no. The reality was that I was very tired and I was ready to pass out. Um, it's funny because um, uh, like Don gets very like sensitive when he like he's drunk. So like <laughs> I said something, I was kind of like nagging him a little bit when we got home. So he's like he got a little upset. So he decided to sleep on the couch. Normally I'd be like, don't just just come to the bedroom, just sleep on the bed. But yesterday I'm just like, you know what? I don't mind having the bed to myself <laughs> so i'm just like you know you sleep on the bed whatever but again in the morning early in the morning he came because he was cold so it's funny but i got the entire bed to myself it was great i am sore everywhere i have not golfed in a very long time i'm sore i think i'm getting like a sore like um like a kinko sore in my mouth i usually get it when i'm tired like extremely tired so I filmed a mukbang and I just finished editing, so I'm going to finish uploading that and scheduling it. Um, other than that, I'm yeah, it's almost end of the day. Uh, Aiden is sleeping, which is crazy. <laughs> yes, he's sleeping, so we kind of have the rest of the night to ourselves. But uh, I do want to be in bed early. I'm still pretty tired. I'm going to make something small just in case Tom might be hungry later. Uh, he's still off tomorrow, so tomorrow we're gonna do something. Uh, not that crazy, but we're gonna check out this restaurant, so I'm really excited for that. Oh, I guess I feel like I just just I should just give up getting good sleep. Just wanted to kind of wrap up the whole thing and uh, end the vlog here. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.